Hello, hello, I'm coming, I'm coming today. This is a uh, design using one of my boxes uh, of the week. And I received, picked up the box of flowers today. This is what I got. This was for, and this video goes out to Jessica. This is a customer of mine who got the exact same flowers and I wanted to do a tutorial, especially for her. To show you what to do and I'm thinking they're missing a bunch of flowers but you know I realize it's Valentine's Day week and everything is really expensive. Supply and demand. Everybody thinks it's the retailer who, who bumps up the prices. It's not. It's the farms because they have to make up for the three months they don't sell flowers so they get these to bloom all this week and it takes another two months or so for everything to recover in the fields. That's why they're so expensive. It's, it's not really supply and demand, it's how long it takes to feel. So, here Miss Jessica, this is for you. I would take these flowers and create a little grid in a vase. Look what I'm doing. I'm crossing to the left, turning to the right. Crossing, and I'm going to put some green into my vase. Now, I'm going to do an all around. I see on your pictures you did a sort of a one-sided all around. I wasn't really sure. But now I'm going to take these. And I'm going to cut these rather short because I don't have my clippers here. That's all right. I'm going to cut these rather short and I'm going to fill my vase up with a little bit of green to clog the drain. Nice and too dull. I'm going to clog up the drain. Oh, here's your clippers. So, this is how I would start like that, a little filling of this vase. Then I'm going to take more and I'm just going to collar around the outside. So I'm going to make a pretty design utilizing the green. So what you're doing is you're building a grid to hold all your flowers in place. Um, yeah, it, it looks like they're missing a bunch, like of lilies or something. But believe me, they're so expensive. This bunch right here of wax flower this week is $30. This bunch of tulips is 20. This bunch of spider mums is 23. And this lemon leaf is 16. So that's 30, 46, 56, 6, about 80. No, wait. This is 30. This is 21. That's 41. This would be 22. That's 41, 51, 61, 65. And this would be 22. These are nice. Uh, Tulips, although I know I didn't like yours. 30, 65, 75, 85. So it's around $80, $90 in a store if you bought it. Um, but again, I saw your tulips. We need to get you better tulips. So we'll, we'll take care of you. So there, I start with that. Now I'm going to put in a little bit of wax flower in my book or watch my videos. It's Lower Deck, Upper Deck Penthouse. So, I'm going to add this. This is all set in place, so it's going to hold your flowers nicely in place. And you could do two arrangements out of all these flowers, I'm sure. I don't know how many you did, if you only had that one that I saw. Uh, which you did kind of a vertical line design, it's called. It's in my blue book. Not done a whole lot, but then I think you had some flowers on the back side of the design, I can see. But see what I'm doing? I'm building a grid. You have lots of wax flower today. I'm building a grid and it's going to get nice and kind of stiff in there. Oop, see, I'm trying to rush. Clean off your petals. That piece is a bit much. Um, clean off your, your stem so you get a nice clean insertion. Like that. Now, and you'll notice I hope your wax flowers smell really, really good. It is really fragrant. And the fragrant, by the way, is in the bark. Right there. It's not in the flower. It comes out of the bark. So just take a piece and snap it if you want to instantly make your house go better. So, I've created a grid for my flowers. I bet your mom knows all this because she has all three of my books. There. A little more. So, I have some leaves down lower, some upper, some penta. So, I created a bit of a dome. A little more green right in the middle. Right in the middle. 
All of these are hitting the water, yes. Then, I'm going to take, we've got spider moth, which normally we don't grow those a lot either, so what's a strange? We don't grow a lot of spider moths at the farms in California. Um, but I'm going to place these next. And see how nicely the green, when I put it in there, holds my spider moths right where I want them. No slip sliding around. Pulling off these nets. Now these are open up. I see yours are fairly large. These are rather small ones. Yours are a little bit bigger. But they will open up once they start drinking water. There's two, there's three, there's four. If you want to know how long I'm cutting these, it's about twice the length of your vase. So your vase is about eight inches tall. So I'm going one, two, about twice the length. And I'm going to put one right in the middle. There. And next, I'm going to take my tulips. Again, your tulips look beat up. I don't know what happened, but we're going to get you new flowers. Somehow this year, I'm going to get you new flowers. I didn't like them either. So my tulips. Now these are hydrotropic. And I always say that tulips never open up. And in your picture, they're flat open. I don't know what, what caused that. Um, I leave most of the leaves on. but I put some tulips in there. And see how they're angled. You want to work with the flow of the, the go of the flow. Go with the flow. So they're, they're curving out. So I'm going to use them that way. These are also hydrotropic. You want to slice them right here with the knife to stop them from growing. Or they're going to grow in the night. And you're going to wake up tomorrow and they'll all be to a desire. Watch what I'm doing. I'm taking a knife and putting a slice right in the neck. That will keep them from growing. So there's three. Then I'm going to do a ring around the collar. So, yes, I think part what will help you is just studying design. Look at more pictures. The picture you sent me is not done a lot. I've done a million of those one-sided sort of vertical designs. But not a lot. Now, I've got so much wax wire. You should have gotten a huge bunch of wax wire. Yeah, this retails for $30 alone. It's not cheap, but it has a lot of great fragrance. Now I'm just going to plug a little more uh, uh, wax flower in there. I'm going to adjust my flowers a little bit. Like that. And I'm almost done. Yes, you have, I, your mom mentioned you had a lot of greens left over. I have a lot of greens left over. More, I can do a two more designs with the lemon leaf, which is why I think that there was Normally there would have been another bunch of flowers in here to help because of uh, the Valentine's Day. They did. There. Check it out, check it out. A little more color and some lemon leaves. Is how I, no, I say, how I would have approached that design. And enough flowers left over to do a second one. I don't want those all the same. Oh, that's pretty. I lowered it a little bit. What do you think? That's what I would have done with the flowers. Um, but again, I, I saw the pictures. And those tulips look like they ran through a microwave. And how they were all open, I don't know. I really can't, I can't explain it. Um, I have perfect flowers. They should never have, they should not look like that. And she told me, I called the farm girl who packed them for me. I said, did you wrap them in newspaper each week? Yes, yes. So how they got so beat up? It must have been a FedEx guy who opened the box and, and smelled them and gave them to his wife and then repacked them. I don't know. I can't explain it. I'm kidding. But there you go. There's a pretty little design made out of spider -Man. This would retail for about 40, 40, uh, this week, 42, 45. I'm reasonable. Some flowers would chop you probably 60 for that. So, uh, I'm going to do a second one, 
doing, uh, I think, uh, another base or maybe a foam base. So stay tuned. I'm going to do another fairy Jessica. Don't go away. <laughs>